open letter, so I'm not going to delay anything else. All right. You will most likely never read this. You might want to dismiss this. Call it stupid, idiotic, fake. Say what you please, but hear me out, because hate is not the answer. Not all Muslims are terrorists. Not all Latinos are dangerous. Exile is not the answer. It's ridiculous. As if to say that all flowers <laughs> must be orange, or all animals have to fly, it's just not right. Deep down, we all feel the same. We all feel, we all want, we all bleed and cry the same tears of pain and sorrow. We, as humans, were programmed to heal and build, not hate and destroy. A wise man once said that we are only as strong as we are together. We are only as weak as we are divided. Never have these words rung more true in a divided nation. It is your job to bring us together, to show the world what it means to be the United States. We cannot be so ignorant as to discriminate against a whole race of people. After all, does it not say in the Constitution that we are all one, all equal, no other superior? Does that not mean that we as a nation choose acceptance? I, as a girl, will be affected. I am just one voice out of thousands. There are so many in our country who cannot afford such hate in their life. Those who feel speechless. Because hate has only led to war and turmoil and ultimately more war and violence. Just look through history. Slavery, the Civil War, World War II, all a result of hate and intolerance. You speak of a great America, but how can you, a man who speaks of misogyny and white supremacy, make America great? But please, do as you say, prove me wrong. Show me that you will not follow the same path of hate and repeat history's greatest mistakes. Thank you for your consideration.